Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from JazzleDazzleCrafts.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I work in Scotland. Today um, I'm still on the theme of kinetic cards and I'm just, I've just come on to have a go at making a... I think it's called a penny spinner or a penny... Yeah, I think it's called a penny penny spinner card. So I'm I'm actually going to use I've got a pup, couple of one pence coins here, um, and I'm going to have a go at making a card and hopefully be able to make it spin. I've got the butterfly stamp out of butterfly wishes here. Um, I've got early espresso ink. I've cut some bits ready because I have got in my head what I want to achieve. So. I've got some mossy meadow card base, I've got an olive green in back, a piece of the Go Magnolia or Magnolia Lane a designer series paper and I've got a piece of petal pink card for stamping on. So I, I've got some I've got some round um, foam what do you call them, dimensional things that I've had in my stash for a long time and I've got two circle dies from the stitched framelits die set or st stitched die set anyway so that's um, probably about all I'm going to use obviously oh I need a block as well don't I if I'm going to stamp so let's get a block I've got some glue dots because these um, circular dimensionals are so old I think they might have lost their sticky so let's have a go you probably can do it with the hexagonal dimensionals and I will try that later but right at the moment I just want to see if I can do this and I thought well I'll film it while I'm going and we can we can see how we go right so t preparation what will I do? I'll stamp the butterfly and then I can leave that, get the ink out of the way. And basically I'm just going to stamp a butterfly. You could do a butterfly as fancy as you like, but because this is just about how to make a kinetic card, a penny, a penny roller or a penny spinner, whatever. I just want to see if it will work. So there you go. I, I love this butterfly here, this, and it works with our butterfly punch punch but of course I didn't say I was going to use so we'll punch it out later but just going to leave that to dry just now and close up the ink I'm going to pop that out of the way might well use the birthday wishes or something like that from this later I'm not sure and then I'm going to um, layer up this onto the mat I'm actually going to use some snail I'm going to use quite a lot because I'm going to cut the circle out Oh, well, I'm not going to use quite a lot of that snail because that's finished. Ooh, well, that changes things slightly because I don't think I know where my other snail has disappeared to. It's, it's slithered away somewhere. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, here it is. Maybe there's enough in this one. I do have a refill somewhere at the back of that drawer, but that's where it is, at the back of the drawer, so... Okay, well, cut this off. That's just going to get in the way. Right. i put a fair bit on this, because when I'm going to cut a circle out of this and use some of the circle I'm cutting out, so I don't want it all to come, I want it to stay together, so... I did think that that should work. Let's put it on here then. I've got all that snail, let's hope I can get it straight. Yeah, straight enough. Good enough, straight enough will do me. Right, so with this bit, I'm going to cut the big circle out. Let's get the big shot in. Um, I try not to moan about using my big shot on camera. I don't dislike what oh, it's covered in dust too. Oh, that's embarrassing. Never mind. It's old. I 
think this big shot's nearly as old as me. Right, so I don't know what you can see. I'm not my iPad playing. Right, okay, so I'm going to put this towards the top. Can you see okay? Yeah, towards the top and sort of in the middle. I'm not measuring. I'm just using what I can see. So let's see. I'm going to cut the big circle out of there. In fact, you know what? I could probably do both at the same time. I want to cut the big circle out and then the small circle out of the big circle. So see, if I just do... That would be good enough. Okay, right, let's go. This could go all horribly wrong. But then I probably won't show you. <laughs> it goes or I show you most of my mistakes, but if it went ridiculously wrong, I would just wouldn't publish this. So don't get too stressed. Because if you're watching this, it must have been okay. Right, let's take this out of here. Is it cut through? Yes, it has. So pop this. We don't need the big shot again, I don't think. Or do I? Actually, yeah, I think I'll cut the other circle out, the smaller circle, the next one down, and I'll cut it in white. Because I was kind of thinking I could put a greeting on the middle of the circle on the inside. So let's cut this one out in whisper white. Do I have a piece of whisper white to hand? No, just wait till I get my scrap drawer. It's actually thick whisper white, but it won't matter. It's just a scrap, so it should be okay. Right, look, I've cut it out now. I may or may not use it. Ooh, everything's hit the floor. At least I can see it. Right, okay. Let's put this out of the way and then pick that up. flying with that big shot right so one stitched circle in white let's see what's happened here right so I've got this circle cut out that one from there so as you see you could have that could go in the middle with a greeting this bit we don't actually need this bit, so I'll pop the dies to the side, and then I need um, dimensionals on this. So I don't know whether I've got some strips. I've got some of these strips, foam adhesive strips. I think they are in the new catalogue. Right. So want it I don't want it where it'll interfere with the workings of this. Right. Another one. I don't want to come off today. Right, so where's my old scissors? Why oh, they're never there when you want them. This one. Got a wee bit wide on there. Bit. Oh, 
Oh no, I'll need to bet more than that one way. So I'm raising this panel up. Up there, do you think? Like I think that's enough on there, and then I need some on this middle circle, it needs to be lifted to the same height. So I'm just going to take another strip off and we'll just I've no idea if this is going to be too high or not, but, but you know, if you don't try, it would never work. You might other have other foam tapes that you can use. You could use a whole load of dimensionals, but it's quite a lot to do this job. I keep that there just now. I don't think I need any more. Now, where's my base card gone? Here it is. To do the penny, a penny slider. So we're going to be having the penny needs to have um, the enough of these on. Now they are all these round ones. But you, ha you can use the hexagonal ones that we have but you do have to faff about with them quite a bit. So is this... That won't be high enough so it needs to have... It needs to be too deep. Right, so... The first thing to do is get this part down onto the card. So I'm just going to take all the backing off the foam tape. I've not done this for years, so if I get some of this wrong, you'll need to forgive me. I didn't do any revision. I just remembering. I went to a class about a hundred years ago and was it before I even knew stamping up and the lady there did a slider card with us that kind of went backwards and forwards it was it Christmas time I think it was a spinning poncetje or something like that we did now just bear with me till I get this lined up right and then yeah that's definitely going to be high enough and then it's not as straight as it could be but that's because I can't get my head right over the top when you're doing it you get your head right over the top and really get it central and I think there may be too, these circles are too big do you know that Ooh, you have to rethink this, Janice. Right, so we're just going to have to try the hexagonal ones. We'll see what happens. There's little ones. Do you think the little ones would work? Oh, you see, I haven't thought this out, but I'm going to try the little ones. They might just do the trick, actually. Needs to be in the middle, though, Janice. Right, let me let's go and get the back off that and put another one on top. The gap between where it's, it's going to have to run is not going to be wide enough for the circular ones, so let's try this. Yeah. 
Yeah, that does take it up higher. Two of them takes it up higher. So that needs to be in there so it doesn't fall out while I'm putting this bit on. Where do I put it? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I stuck it to the plastic box. Right. So this circle. Now. I just have to. I don't know. Kind of get it central and I've, what I realise is I shouldn't have this bit coming out so far because how's the penny going to move if I've got I'm actually going to take ooh, 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 it's ripping I'm going to take this one off and I'm going to cut the middle one really far back again to the middle. A wee bit more off this one, bring this one back. There needs to be room for the penny to get round. I hadn't thought that out. See, I'm showing you how these things develop as you go along. So I just need a little bit of this. So we've got we've got some of that on now. Try and get this. And just make sure that your penny can move right round. And it can now with that. It should be okay. Right. So got the penny there. Then I would like to punch out my butterfly now. I'm just going to pop. Of course, did I not, I've not done it on a big enough piece of card. Right, make it a bit of post-it note. Right, lots of um, schoolgirl letters happening today. Do you know what it is? I was going to film this hours ago and then the sun came out so I went out for a wee while then I ended up having to go to the shops then my husband wanted a wee bit of help with some computing and then I've been looking at the watching the Federer Djokovic final we're on the la last set I've left them to battle it out I'm sure they'll manage without me um, so here's my butterfly. I'm just going to bend it up a wee bit. Look at that. I mean, it's just the detail on that. It's just gorgeous. Right, so now we need to stick, get the backing off that foam. Is it off? Yeah, put penny there. That's gonna it's moving, it's not spinning, but I think we'll be able to kind of you bash the edges enough of the foam you will get it. We just need it to stick. And I think I'll just punch out a piece of card because that's not really pretty, that doesn't cover the the pe the penny, so I'm just which punch I think one inch punch will be big enough so we'll just cut out a wee oh just a circle of this will do just now obviously you can fancy this up one inch circle punch and just some snail just now well not that snail I know where's the one that works <laughs> could have used a glue dot even as well, that would have worked. In fact I'll use a glue dot to put the butterfly onto the sort that hides the penny because it's not pretty. Let's just get a glue dot to put our butterfly onto there. Hopefully we'll get a wee spinny butterfly. There they go. Right, so let's see if we can get a wee 
dropping everything here. Let's get a wee greeting on here. Okay, just to finish off, I'm going to stamp a greeting on here and I'm going to stamp another butterfly and pop another butterfly down here. Okay, so we've got, I don't, I've got a mess, that's what I've got here, I can tell you, but hey, we'll finish off and we'll tidy up. And then I'm going to go back out in the sun. Right, one butterfly. I just love the depth and it. Look at all the... It's just gorgeous. I think, what's that called? I've forgotten what kind of stamp this is. Oh! I don't really know, but it gives you all the shading. And so I'm just going to take this one off. Put that over for being cleaned and I've got birthday wishes here just to pop on. Just sticking with one colour of ink and I'll just where's my snail? Everything's getting stuck to everything. This one's nearly, I think that one's nearly finished too. So anyway, we'll just pop this in the middle of that circle. Birthday wishes. Now, there was a little butterfly here that just... Actually, I've just realised there is a stamp for that size, so why don't I get that out ready? So we'll get this one out. Where's the punch? That bit of post it note, don't I, to get this one? Just get it lined up once you're happy that you've got a fairly even rim all round, then just knock it out. Okay, so that's this one which will go there and this one, I wonder if I'm clever enough. What do you think? Do you think I'm clever enough? If I put some ink on this, Good enough. So put a bit of glue dot on here. I'm thinking that one looks about okay about there. Down then let's put a glue dot on this one. And it swings up a wee bit. Pop that one there. Come on, spin. Take your... Oh, Janice, take your time. I was spinning earlier for you. It's just been silly now. It's just about getting the right angle. on there, right, okay. That's something to learn. Did you see that bit? That was better. Yeah. If I just need this one a flat butterfly then and it won't, it won't catch then. Come on. Uh, 
that's going to catch on that all the time, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to, right, let's just move this a bit, can we? Very carefully just move it slightly down and make it flatter so it doesn't get in the way. You're just going to have to play till it gets It is working, there you go. Enough play! So what do you think? A bit of fun? And you could use quite a lot of different stamp sets to to do that. Do you know you could have spinning ladies from the Beautiful You set. You could have... We've got lots of other butterflies that you could spin with. What other sets do you think would work with this? Um, the... There's quite a lot of sets, I think, that we could, you know, things that you can punch out. You could have a spinning flower. We've got cats and dogs and pigs and all sorts of things. So you could have all kind of spinning cards. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I'm really pleased this has worked out. Um, a bit of faffing about at first, but it's really quite simple. There's nothing complicated in that if you've got some dyes. Um, uh, you're away. So thank you very, very much for sticking with it and seeing this through to the end with me. Um, please let me know if you have a go at this. Um, let me see what you do with this idea. And also, please subscribe and please press, press the bell icon so you get notified of any further videos coming. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.